Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have a haul video for you guys. So over the last little while, I've been buying little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I feel like I was doing really, really well at a no buy for a good solid six to eight months, but then I had a little bit of an issue and then it just honestly broke my no buy and I decided to get a few things that have been on my wish list for quite some time. A bit of backstory about the first product that I got is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now, this is a staple in my makeup collection. I feel like I use it pretty much all the time. Only recently since I've been getting a few different loose powders have I really dabbled into other ones. But for the most part, I would always use the Laura Mercier translucent one. I did buy a new one because I don't know how, I don't know why, but I went to go use my translucent powder one day and I could not find it anywhere. And I looked for it for days and days and days. So I was like, you know what? This is ridiculous. I literally must have lost it somewhere. Who knows where? So I jumped on and bought another one of these because I was like, you know what? Mine's almost empty anyway. Like I probably would have had another two months use in it because this stuff lasts forever for me. But I ended up just picking up a new one. So I picked up Laura Mercier Translucent. And of course, after, I think it was like a day or two after I actually bought this, I found my like current one. So that's why mine's still in the box. But when I was buying the translucent one, I did see that they had the honey one. I've always been intrigued with it, but obviously I haven't been able to go in store and kind of like swatch it or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. And at worst, I will just use it as an all over face powder. Might not be my favorite, but I'll still just give it a go. So I did get the honey one as well. I haven't used this. I lie. I did use it underneath my eyes and I don't think it's my favorite for that, but I haven't tried it as an all over face setting powder, but that's definitely what I want to do next. And yeah, I'm super happy that I've actually decided to add translucent to my backup stock because honestly, I'm almost finished my current one now and excited to add honey to my collection. So the next product that I got, and I know this seems really, really excessive, but honestly, it actually blew my mind. Um, I got the... Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now, the first shade that I bought of this was 7.5 Neutral, and that's actually the color that I have on my skin today. It is a quite a bit darker than the tans that I used to use because, sorry, what am I even talking about? This foundation color is a lot darker than the foundations that I ordinarily use because I have found a fake tan that makes me quite dark. Um, it's the tan that I have on today. I'm normally this shade for a few days out of my tanning cycle, and then I do move to the shade 6 Neutral. This one, I would say, is more similar to, for example, like Estee Lauder Rattan, that type of vibe, while this one is a little bit darker. You can't really see a whole bunch of difference, but it's definitely noticeable once it's on the skin. And because I was in love with that foundation so much and I was doing a second order, I did decide to get shade three neutral as well so that I can just kind of customize the shades that I have and just adjust them depending on how fake tanned I am. So the next product that I have to show you is a repurchase. I actually have quite a few repurchases in this video to show you guys. But this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Now, I use the shade number 27. I think it's called, yeah, Honey Beige is what it's called. And I get mine from iHerb. I've already used pretty much a full tube of this stuff. Um, I did have to get a new one because mine expires in a little while. So I was like, I definitely don't want to have like expired products on my face. So I did get a new one. I'm not going to use that up until my current one reaches this expiry. And then I'll throw that in the bin. But this is it here. I really like it because it does have a pump. And I also particularly love it because it is SPF 42. And it does have the PA three star rating as well, which I, I always try and look for a higher PA star rating when I'm shopping for my sunscreen products. I don't use this as my sole sunscreen, but it's definitely good to have on top as just additional SPF coverage. So the next product that I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I need to stop looking in the viewfinder and actually look into the camera. I need to get better at that, sorry. Um, but anyway, so this Magic Foundation. Now, this one is SPF 15. To be honest, I didn't even know this had SPF when I bought it. But I bought mine in the shade 6 medium. I'm going to just take a guess and say this is definitely not going to match me when I'm this fake tanned. 
um, but I am really, really excited to use it because it's one that I've definitely wanted to try for a while. And I was like, you know what, while I'm doing the Charlotte Tilbury order for the other foundations, I may as well give this one a try as well because honestly, foundations and like just base products are my absolute weak point. Continuing on with Charlotte Tilbury, I did decide to get two of the Hollywood Flawless Filters. Now, I bought one, um, and honestly, you should not do what I do. By all means, definitely don't do this. But I wanted to get the shade Medium, but they were sold out. So when I was buying my 7.5, I did also pick up the shade, I think it's just Fair. I try to keep everything in the box until I haul them so I can remember what's new. Um, but anyway, so the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade Fair Pale Number 1. I decided to pick it up even though this wasn't really the colour that I was wanting because I was like, you know what, if I want to use it and like, I don't know, highlight certain parts of my face, use it as a highlighter, that type of thing. I did use it a few times and I absolutely loved it. So while I was doing my other Charlotte Tilbury order, I actually decided to pick up the shade Medium as well. Um, I feel like I also started buying quite a lot more products than what I used to, at least in the last few years, because I wanted to get products that I really, really enjoyed for my wedding that's coming up. So I did end up picking up Medium as well. I think this one will be good as an all over like face base. Okay. I know it sounds excessive. I seem to be buying like so many different shades and all that type of stuff, but I guess a bit of background context if you don't follow my channel. I am getting married in November and I am doing my own makeup. So I kind of wanted to just splurge a little bit on products that I really, really love and also on different tones as well, because I do plan on doing my bridal party's makeup, which will be a bit of a challenge. Who knows if I'll pull out of it last minute, but we'll just see. I try looking. Sorry about that. My camera cut me off but anyway um i tried looking for a makeup artist but there wasn't really any that i liked that were well actually no makeup artist that i contacted could go to my venue on the date so that was great um that's what happens when you are a terrible planner like me but anyway um so i was like you know what I literally have to do it. But anyway, so I got the shade Fair and I got the shade Medium. I've only used the shade Fair at the moment, but I'm definitely going to use these probably in one of my next um, bridal makeup trials that I film. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for these because I'm so excited to use them. To be honest, if I had just bought Medium first, I probably wouldn't even own Fair right now, but I am really, really glad that I have both in my collection. Talking about face powders, I really am trying to look for like the best undry powder. So I love the Laura Mercier for under my eyes, but I feel like they can always be better. Like it's such a bad mindset and it definitely triggers all this excessive buying. But I was like, you know what? I've got the wedding coming up. I want just everything to look great on camera, in real life, that type of thing. So I was like, you know what? So many people talk about the Nakia Joy, I don't even know what it's called, the Velvet Finishing Powder. I think they only have one powder. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure they only have one powder. And honestly, whenever I see anyone use this on so social media, they just look stunning. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a go. It was actually when I was tossing up whether I was going to be buying another Laura Mercier one or not. And I was just I kept looking for mine because they were doing a sale. So I was like, you know what? No time is better than when there's a sale on. So I did end up picking up this powder. It is actually a very similar price to the Laura Mercier powder. I'm just going to go through the last powder that I have because I promise you I do not have any more. But this one has been on my Sephora wish list for so long. And they recently did their VIB sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. It's getting really close to the wedding now. So I'm just going to get it and we're going to see how we go. Um, so this is the Fenty powder. I won't shine it right at you because I do have my ring light and I don't want to blind you guys. I don't even know if that happens. But anyway, I did get it in the shade Butter and it's their Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now, one thing that I must say, I did use it for the first time today with this look and my under eye. Oh my God, I have a brush hair on my face. That's embarrassing. Okay. Hopefully you, wouldn't, you weren't able to see that because that's just, wow. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why my under eyes look so dry today with using this powder. 
It could be the fact that I used MAC Pro Longwear instead of my Tarte Shape Tape. I did use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer over the top, but I always use that, so I don't think it was that. So it's either the powder or it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. To be honest, I'm starting to think it might have been the Pro Longwear, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to try it again with my normal concealer routine. I don't know why I even tried it for the first time, not using my normal routine, but anyway... Um, I'm super excited to have this in my collection though because I actually really, really love the tone of it. I think it is exceptional. Even if I don't have it underneath my eyes anymore, even if it's as a face setting powder, I'm, I'm really excited to keep using this. These are kind of one and the same. So I did get the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Stromboli and then I also got the foundation pump that comes with it. Honestly, my biggest pet peeve with NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is the fact that you have to buy a pump separately if you want a pump. I mean, don't get me wrong. I guess the people that don't want a pump, it works out well for them because it's cheaper than a normal NARS foundation that has a pump. But for me, I always love to have a pump on my foundation products because, I don't know, I just feel like I know how much I'm going to be distributing out. So then I feel like in turn, I have less wastage. I don't know. At least that's what I think in my mind. But yeah, I used to use NARS Sheer Glow way back when. And I was like, you know what? I actually really, really miss that foundation. So I decided to pick up a, another bottle of it. So I did get two NARS foundations. I'm taking them out of the box for you guys. So they are the same. They're just different shades. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now I do have two shades. I have Punjab and I have Shromboli. You can definitely see the difference in the colors here. Now, I like both these shades together um, for this foundation in particular. I think them mixed makes a great shade for me. So that's why I did get both of them. And I have had samples of these. And oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with how these look on my skin. I feel like my skin looks so radiant and so flawless when I have these on. Um, don't get me wrong. That's why I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. But I did get these before I got the Charlotte Tilbury. And yeah. I will definitely do a review of these. I know this foundation is like it's been released for quite a while now, but I definitely want to kind of put out my two cents on it. But I really do like from the sample pots that I was given. I love how these look on my skin. At the Sephora sale, I did do a repurchase of my brow pomade. So I was recently using a Nabla brow pomade in the shade Neptune, I think it is. It's actually what I have in my brows now. But I really do miss the What's this called? Dip brow. So I was like, you know what? For the wedding, I definitely want to have this because honestly, rain, hail or shine, this stays on my eyebrows. I use the shade medium brown. I also own the shade dark brown, but that one isn't like dry or anything like that. So I just needed to replenish my medium brown. Okay, last product from Charlotte Tilbury. Now this product, oh my goodness, when I saw it on Instagram, I knew that I had to have it. It is their Charlotte Tilbury... That's what I mean by blinding you guys. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for your face and body. Now, I did get the shade number two medium. I don't know if that's the right shade for me, but I kind of looked at a few blog posts online and it seemed like the best one. So that's the color here. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not really able to comment on it, but I definitely will be using it soon because it's just absolutely stunning. And I can't get over how beautiful the packaging looks. So I did replenish my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I always use the shades Custard and vanilla. I used to use Chantilly as well. So I used to have three staple colors, but honestly, Chantilly used to just make my under eyes like so stark. Like, does anyone remember that stark under eye look that was like a thing? I'm just sticking to vanilla and custard because honestly, these are just the perfect match for me. Custard, I use solely when I'm tanned. Um, and then vanilla, I'll use either mixed with custard if I'm kind of in between tan like tanning cycles, or if I've got no tan, I just use vanilla on its own. It's just absolutely stunning. If I look like I am in a different spot, that's because I am. My camera battery died, and anyway, it was a whole thing. But anyway, next product that I got is from Gucci Beauty. Now, I literally don't think that I'll ever be buying anything else from Gucci Beauty, even if it is the most magnificent thing in the world, because it is so expensive. But I did see Gucci Beauty get released and I've been wanting something for so, so, so long. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get one thing as a treat just to try out the brand and also just a product that makes me feel 
a bit special, I guess, because for me, I really do like applying makeup and just having a bit of me time. So I feel like it is money well spent in that regard because it actually does genuinely make the experience of doing my makeup a bit nicer, if that makes sense. But anyway, so in the box, you do get this pink velvet pouch. I really don't use these. This really doesn't matter to me. Um, to be honest, I'd rather it be a little bit cheaper than come with this velvet pouch. But anyway, if you're wondering, it does come with the velvet pouch. And then this is what the compact looks like. You can definitely see my ring light there, but this is what the packaging looks like. Kind of gives me similar vibes to like the Charlotte Tilbury Halleck. It's just so like bam in your face metallic. But anyway, I bought mine in the shade number three and it's just their standard bronzing powder. And then on the inside, this is what the, oh goodness, this is what the color looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. So I cannot wait to use this bronzer. So the next thing that I got was a repurchase. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got mine in the berry scent and my old one that this is replacing is also in the berry scent. There is other scents available, but I just don't want like an ingredient to like react or anything like that, especially if I'm so happy with this one. So I just repurchased this scent, but oh my goodness, it's actually one of my favorite lip balms. This one and the Jouer are honestly like the bee's knees. Like I don't feel like I need to dabble into other lip balms since I found this one and the Jouer one, honestly. And then lucky last, I did get three MAC lipsticks. These are ones that I honestly have as staples in my collection. So Honey Love, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I absolutely love this shade. I've used it for years and years and years and years, and I will continue to repurchase this. This is a perfect nude color. Faux, this one is just a perfect pinky nude. I've been using this one for years as well. And then Velvet Teddy, which I've owned in the past, but I only really started liking in the last year or two. But yeah, these are honestly just absolute staples in my collection. And they were running very, very low. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of the sale and get them to replenish my collection. Okay, everyone, so that is the end of my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see any of these products in future videos, then please leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it from me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.